Dear friends, namaste, and that's from Nikwik right in front of you. Friends, here I shall be telling you about some of the causes of cancer. You know, many a times I get people asking me questions like, uh, Sir, why did I get cancer? I've been a teetotaler. I've never had uh, even non-veg food. I've never had alcohol. I have uh, never had uh, meat. I have never smoked. And how come I got cancer? My friends, they've been having all that nonsense stuff. But still, they seem to be very healthy. And why... Am I diagnosed with such a terrible disease? Now, friends, there are several causes of cancer. Amongst them, the biggest cause of cancer is free radicals. Now, free radicals are those molecules which have one electron missing. They are incomplete molecules. You know, friends, as in our body, we have millions of cells. We also have millions of molecules. A molecule is called as a complete molecule when it has two electrons. When one of those electrons is missing, it is called as an incomplete molecule or a free radical. Now what this free radical does is, in order to complete itself, it attacks the DNA of the nearby cell and tries to grab an electron from it. But in that process, it is never able to complete itself since that electron falls down on the way. As a matter of fact, what really happens is that a normal cell now gets complete, now gets uh, converted into an abnormal cell. Now from here on, a chain reaction begins in our system. Now you have another free radical or an incomplete molecule. This would again attack the DNA of the nearby cell and again try to grab an electron but again that electron is going to fall down on the way and again an incomplete cell would uh, start. So what really happens is your normal cells start getting converted into abnormal cells and in the worst scenario they could also uh, turn up to be cancerous cells. Now, there are several causes of free radicals coming into our system. Many causes are the ones which we can easily avoid. Like, free radicals could come into our system due to eating trans fats, due to eating deep fried foodstuffs, due to eating bakery products, due to eating processed food products, due to... Uh, alcohol due to smoking, due to excessive pollution. But again, friends, let me underline here, the biggest cause of free radicals is anxiety and stress. An episode of stress or anxiety could create millions of free radicals into your system. I've seen many times people they get stressed over small things. They are very anxious all the time. Or sometimes life doesn't go the way they want it to and that brings in a huge amount of stress into themselves. Now that stress could bring in a lot of free radicals into your system. And again, the normal cells could get start converting into abnormal cells and you could be afflicted by, with a dreaded disease. It might be cancer or it could be any other cellular related disease. Friend, let me tell you that I myself suffered from cancer three times. And I would also say that my main cause of cancer was stress. But now, it's been over 15 years. I'm cancer free. I've written 15 books. I take courses on pranayama, food therapy, and meditation at my centers at Delhi. And I also take classes over WhatsApp video calling and Skype. All these courses are personalized. Friends, I have seen that pranayama, food therapy, and meditation, they are very helpful in beating stress and in beating most of the dangerous diseases. 
so friends try to enjoy yourself enjoy life and try to minimize stress in your life leave everything to the almighty god and try to completely surrender all your anxieties stresses and tensions to the almighty god thank you friends do take care and that's from nick wick signing off friends for more details you can also log on to my website which is www.ramnikwick.com thank you friends and do take care